The Ministry of Education has expressed surprise at the revelation a primary school sent a 10-year-old home, home from school when she began menstruating because the school toilets had no suitable receptacle for sanitary products. An Otago University Medical School research fellow, Dr Sarah Donovan, told RNZ she was contacted about the case by a GP who was concerned the girl was only allowed back to school when her family donated an appropriate bin to the school for the disposal of the products. She said the girl had been menstruating for a few months now but was still choosing to stay at home sometimes because of the stigma of having been excluded from school and Marie May sought comment on the case and filed this report. In a statement, Katrina Casey from the Education Ministry said if the incident did happen as reported, it is not a very caring way for the school to respond, nor is it sensible. She says most teachers and principals are very understanding of the health needs of their students and the Ministry is confident that most, if not all, when faced with a young girl beginning menstruation, would simply organise a sanitary product disposal unit for the girls' toilets. Dr Sarah Donovan from the University of Otago's Public Health Department said the situation was brought to her attention by the 10-year-old's GP. She had since been speaking directly with the family and says the child's mother was upset by the principal's suggestion her daughter could go on the contraceptive pill. She was pretty distraught because being 10 that's pretty young to get your period anyway and she was just kind of coping with the self-management of that and then had the kind of added level of stigma of, of being um, excluded from school. Whangaparoa College students Melanie Wilcock and Rebecca Jacobs have organised a petition asking the government to remove GST from sanitary products. Melanie said she was appalled that a school would send a 10-year-old home while she has her period and says it's not fair that a natural process should affect a child's education. I think she'd feel quite embarrassed because some girls take it as, a, oh, I'm a woman now and that sort of stuff, but if she's just been sent home for something that she can't control. I mean, I know it's not the school's fault and they probably were a bit shocked, but they should have dealt with it better. The national president of the Principals Federation, Fetu Cormick, finds it difficult to comprehend that a child would be excluded from school while they are menstruating. He says at his own school, Bathgate Park in Dunedin, there are receptacles for girls to dispose of sanitary products and he is sure other schools would also have them not only for the adult staff but also for young women to be able to use them if required. This would not be an unusual situation for teachers to be having to deal with from sort of year five, six through to intermediate age. Definitely those schools would have processes in place to support the young woman. The head of the School Trustees Association, Lorraine Kerr, says no school has ever contacted her association with problems associated with a student beginning menstruation. She says when a young girl began having periods at a primary school she was involved with, the situation was handled very easily. We just went down to the local dairy, got a supply of sanitary products, talked to her, explained to her, phoned her parents, suggested she use the staff toilets as opposed to the school toilet to take away the stigma. The Ministry of Education says it does not keep data on the facilities provided in girls' toilets at primary schools. It says schools make their own decisions about what is available based on the needs of their students and the majority do a very good job. For Checkpoint, Anne-Marie May.